Well, I'm joined tonight at the big table by Patrick Zensburg. He is a member of the German Parliament for Chancellor Angela Merkel's Christian Democrats. He also knows Friedrich Merz very well. They both come from the same area of Western Germany, and Mr. Zensburg took over the seat that Mr. Merz vacated when he left Parliament back in 2009. Mr. Zensburg, it's good to have you back on the show. Thank you. Um, when did you find out that Mr. Merz will campaign to become the next leader of your party? I think it was a process. The process started, I think, um, when we knew in our party that Angela Merkel will step back. Uh, we knew that this is the last period as a chancellor. And we knew sometime in between uh, 2018 and 2021 uh, she had to step back. Mm -hmm. And now we had two elections in Bavaria. And we knew from the opinion polls that the results were not so lovely for our party. Mm -hmm. We saw Hessen. And I think everybody in our party had the imagination now Angela Merkel will make a decision and she made a strong decision on Monday this week. Well, uh, were, were, you, were you surprised by that? Be, because you and I talked a couple of weeks ago and, and um, th the results in Hesse were not that bad for your party, right? Not, not to force the chancellor to say that she's leaving politics. Right. I'm not surprised um, about the decision, about the time a bit, mm -hmm. but that's typically our Chancellor Angela Merkel. She is not forced to get out. She decided to do, and she made a strong decision. In former times, we had chancellors uh, who were forced to get out, mm -hmm. who, uh, or uh, they had elections when they were kicked out of the chancellery. Right. No, Angela Merkel made a strong decision by herself. And for Friedrich Merz, um, this was not a, a, a last-minute decision. I mean, he's been planning this for a while. I think uh, he thought about it. Um, he had talks in Brussels, he talked to colleagues, he talked to members of our parliamentary group. But the time, the exact date, mm -hmm. that wasn't clear for him as well. Because mm -hmm. Angela Merkel, in the first step, made the decision by telling on Monday she's not uh, candidating again mm -hmm. in the party elections. And you know, he didn't waste any time either announcing his candidacy. It's been, what, 48 hours since Chancellor Merkel announced her phased withdrawal from politics and That's already... quite late compared to others. That, <laughs> they right. were faster. That's true, they were faster. <laughs> I mean, there's a fast race here. Um, there's a clear favor. If we could take a look at the um, poll numbers, there we go. Um, now, the woman groomed by Merkel to follow her, Annegret Krumpf Karrenbauer, who's known as AKK, she, she's got about 19% support. And then you've got I mean, Laschet, who dropped out of the race today. You've got Jens Spahn, Currently, the health minister, just 6%. And there you have, right there, Mr. Merritt's way ahead with 33%. I mean, and here is how he described himself today um, during what some people are calling his resurrection on the political stage. In these times of migration and globalization, the modernization of our party must include a clear role for national identity and traditional values in the way we think and act. Before you is a convinced European and a convinced transatlanticist. I stand for a Germany that is open to the world, whose roots are based on Christian ethics and the European Enlightenment, and whose most important allies are the democracies of the Western world. Yes, I do use this expression again and gladly, the democracies of the Western world. What caught our attention there, Mr. Zinsburg, is, is it sounds like he is, says he is bringing back conservatism to Germany and he's going to take your party from being too far in the center. He's going to take it to the center right. Is, is that what the party needs? I think this is just one pillar. So our party has different groups inside. There is a conservative group. There is the, I would say, economic liberal group. There is a Christian uh, belief oriented group. So we have many groups in a party like the conservative CDU. And he stands for combining all this group, for integrating this group. So he has got all these issues on his agenda, and that's his strength. But, it, but it, wasn't he today basically telling us that Angela Merkel has, has made this party too broad, and now we need to remember our roots, and that way 
we will actually be able to attract the voters who have left us for the far-right AFD, for example? I think that's one side of him, the conservative side, um, to look at the roots of the party. And But on the other side, he is also very progressive. He is an European root parliamentarian. He was uh, five years in the European Parliament. He has got his uh, transatlantic relations. Um, so I think he's very Western orientated. But on the other side, of course, he knew that a dialogue with Russia is important for Europe mm. as well. So he's a very good in the foreign issues. So I think what's, what's the strength of him is not concentrating on, on, on conservative issues, just on conservative issues. He can bring issues very clear to the point, clear sentence, clear messages, and that's the strength of Friedrich Merz. And you don't, you don't think Angela Merkel is a good, is a good communicator? Of course, she communicates different. She's a, a very good communicator. We've seen that uh, since 13 years in the Chancellor in the European mm. Union. So she is, but she's different. And that's a, another thing. Friedrich Merz is a new start. It's not better or, or, or worse or whatever. A new start always gives new chances. Well, take a listen to what he said today um, uh, about the AFD, which is this far-right party, and about what, um, how they've been taking voters away from your party. We cannot accept parties establishing themselves on the far left and the far right of our democracy. Parties that have entered all 16 state legislatures and the German parliament, parties which divide our society. We cannot accept voters being seduced into populist movements out of disappointment and frustration with the established parties. Now, Friedrich Merz, he made a name for himself almost 20 years ago by advocating a, a leading culture in Germany that should be adhered to by migrants coming into the country. Is he the better weapon against the far right AFD than Angela Merkel ever could be? I think people in this time are looking for orientation. And the whole issue about migration is Insecurity, people have got fears, what can happen? We saw that already in the 90s when we had got the uh, war in Yugoslavia. Mm -hmm. So we knew that people are seeking for orientation. And I think that's the message that he wanted to point out today, that he wants to give orientation, clear messages, how we solve problems, integration, um, but also a question of accepting rules. That's a discussion mm -hmm. uh, about that our rules that we have here have to be accepted by people who come here. I think his message is clear sentence and, that, and, and is, it, is, it, is the criticism that Angela Merkel, is that where she failed? That she wasn't, for example, she wasn't willing to put a cap on the number of migrants coming into the country. She seemed to be just, she, you couldn't nail her down on this issue. And Friedrich Merz comes along and says, um, I'm going to tell you where I stand. And it, that, that's going to win an election for him. No, I think the difference is, and, and Friedrich Merz pointed out, if I understand him right, mm. that he would have made the same decisions in 2015. He wouldn't close the borders. But the difference is right now that we have a new face on the scene and he gives clear messages and people can orientate themselves. And so a new start is always a new chance. I wouldn't say uh, um, Angela Merkel did something better or Friedrich Merz will do something better. Mm -hmm. The new start gives the chance for people to get a new orientation. Before we run out of time, um, if he becomes the head of the CDU in December, he will have three years um, to be the head of the party with Merkel as the chancellor. Will that last for three years? Oh, that depends not just on the CDU as Conservative Party. That uh, depends also on our coalition partner, the Social Democratic Party. Um, that will depend how both will work together, Friedrich Merz and Angela Merkel as Chancellor. So, um, what you got to tell you, Mr. Zinsburg, though? It will be very powerful. That I expect. Okay. <laughs> very good. Patrick Zinsburg, member of the German Parliament. We appreciate you coming in and sharing your insights, as always. Thank you. Thank you.